Testing, testing. recording I'm just gonna yes okay hopefully this is focused on me I can't tell because I don't I have I have a DSLR camera and I don't have like a the monitor is like not it doesn't like flip out so I can't see um hopefully you can see me okay I'm it's really hot right now in Florida it's really humid and like gross but I'll be in New York in a few days uh, cause I won an award and I'll be going to Carnegie Hall and I'll document like how that all goes. I'm really excited and hopefully it'll be a journey worth talking about. Okay, so we went to Princeton. I didn't film us like actually going on the plane and stuff cause like I just honestly didn't have time to like pull out my camera and start filming. But it was really awkward because we walked in on people's graduation and I'm like zooming in on people's families and there's my parents just casually taking a photo, you know. I doubt I'll ever attend this school just because I don't think I'm competitive enough to get in, but you know, that's another story. It was nice to see it, you know. Yeah, anyways, it was a really pretty school. My dad thought this was a statue of slaves uh, and these statues of the Zodiac animals were pretty much the only noteworthy thing that my parents really enjoyed about the school which probably you know Asian parents am I right <laughs> here's a picture of them with the rabbit I'm not really good at transitions so here's some footage of like scenery buildings passing by and I'll pretty much just get to the part that you probably clicked on the video for which is New York Uh, so this is pretty cool. I got to see Picasso's The Ladies of Avignon. Uh, there's a lot of great pieces that were in the MoMA. I'm so happy that I got to see them. It was really cool seeing The Starry Night. Everyone always says it's like really small in person and it's, it's pretty true. It's tiny. But still cool. So everything took place in the Roosevelt Hotel. We had a maker's prom, which was kind of like a mixer, and we were like dancing and stuff. 
Oh, um, one thing I should mention, you, you might find it irrelevant now, but I really find funny music placed over not the appropriate thing is really funny. Uh, you're gonna see here. I got my portrait drawn by this really famous Japanese artist called Rika Takashima. I think the really cool part about the Maker's Ball or prom is that you get to meet so many cool people that are like from different parts of the world that I never would have thought I would have ever met. These are some people that I met. That's me with them and then this guy that I took a picture of. So this next scene right here is going to be of the ceremony in Carnegie Hall. Uh, it was really fun, really beautiful, really old place, definitely renovated really well. A lot of famous people came to speak, like Ansel Elsberg, I want to say. Uh, he's the baby driver guy. Um, the creator of Arthur, Mark Brown, R.L. Stein came to speak. It was really awesome. So here we are entering Carnegie Hall. As you, I'm the only asshole that didn't wear anything nice. I wore a t-shirt and pants. <laughs> and I'm recording. <laughs> So pretty soon after that, the ceremony was over and our time in New York was pretty much up. It was a really beautiful day that day and we took a lot of photos, which I'm not going to show you because I look bad in them, but we went to a Chinese restaurant afterwards and it was awesome. Hi guys! Okay, I'm currently in a bathroom. Uh, today was the day of the ceremony. Um, right now I'm looking at a mirror so I can see myself in the monitor. 
Uh, yeah, I'm in the I'm in a bathroom right now to record because I I feel really embarrassed like recording in public and like talking to a camera. But I just want to say it's been going awesome. Uh, I'll do like voiceovers and like kind of like interject, but this is like me real time. It's my outfit. Oh, oh. TD. Look at that. Overall, my time in New York was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I got the opportunity and that I was given this opportunity to go and be able to experience it. Uh, I saw some really cool stuff, met some really cool people, saw some really old friends. It was a really good experience overall, and I'm happy. Really happy that it went as well as it did. like that I, I decided to start a YouTube channel was because I think that I need you know people need to put their, themselves out there I think people complain I think people are too worried about you know failing but you know being public and being open about life and what I go through I think that's being more honest and I hope that you know someone remembers me as I am and this in these videos, I just think that like I have the right to fail and I have the right to be cringy or like unfunny or you know, ugly even. Like I mean, these are I don't even know how I look right now. Like I could I look horrible and I, there's no there's no changing that because I don't I don't want to change it. Like this is how I am. And I think that this will give me a chance to be a very unfiltered I, uh, it, it, I mean, it's gonna be unfiltered because as in like the editing is gonna be bad and you're gonna see me make really bad jokes and be mean at times, I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm really excited.